Hello Grade 12s. Sometimes we need to make use of plans to find our way around a particular place or perhaps to understand our position in relation to our surroundings. In today's lesson we will look at a banquet hall and an office floor plan. We'll discuss the number scales and bar scales as well as how to give directions. Let's begin. This is the seating plan of a banquet hall. It is laid out for matric dance. The stage is near the back of the hall, the dance floor in the middle, and the tables and chairs are arranged around the dance floor. Susie is sitting at table 1 and wants to go to the buffet table. Let's give her directions. She must walk between the stage and the dance floor to the opposite side of the hall. The buffet table would then be on their right hand side. Did you notice that the scale of the diagram is 1 to 50? This means that every 1 cm on the seating plan represents 50 cm in reality. The buffet table measures 12 cm on the plan. Let's use the scale to find the actual length. First, we write down the ratio we need to find. Now we write the given scale underneath. The next thing we'll do is to draw in two arrows. These arrows will show us how to do the calculation. The down arrow shows divide and the up tells us to multiply. 12 divided by 1 is equal to 12 and 12 multiplied by 50 is equal to 600. The arrows may look a little funny, but they help a lot. Let's use this method again. If the plan measures 24 cm across the width, what is the width in real life? First, we write down the ratio we need to find. Now we write the given scale underneath. The next thing we'll do is to draw in two arrows. The down arrow shows divide and the up tells us to multiply. 24 divided by 1 equals 24. 24 multiplied by 50 equals 1,200 centimeters. The width of the hall is 1,200 centimeters. Let's change this to meters. 1,200 divided by 100 gives us 12 meters. Now let's have a look at the seating plan of an office. A small workstation can be seen on the left of the diagram. On the right of the diagram is a break area where office workers can enjoy their lunch or tea break. This plan uses a bar scale. When we place a ruler below the bar scale, we can see that each section represents 1 cm. So this bar scale says that 1 cm on the plan represents 1 meter in reality. The table measures 1,5 cm. Let's calculate how big this is in reality. First we write the ratio we want. Then we write the given scale underneath. Now we use the arrows to calculate. 1,5 divided by 1 is equal to 1,5. 1,5 multiplied by 1 is equal to 1,5. So we can see that 1,5 centimeters on the floor plan is equal to 1,5 meters in reality. Thank you for joining us Grade 12s. Remember, the tasks for this section can be found in the Plans and Scale Task video. You'll also be able to learn more on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.